The 2023 Nobel Prize in Medicine has been awarded to two brilliant scientists, Catalin Carrico and Drew Weissman. Their groundbreaking research paved the way for the development of mRNA vaccines against as the formidable adversary COVID-19. Traditional vaccines historically relied on introducing weakened or inactivated viruses into the body to stimulate an immune response. However, this process had its limitations. Large-scale production required cell culture, which was time-consuming, a luxury we could not afford during the COVID-19 pandemic. Facing a fast-spreading virus, time was of the essence in finding a solution. This is where the mRNA technology emerged as a game-changer. Though known since the 1980s, mRNA technology was not perfected for the large-scale vaccine production until recently. Instead of using the virus itself, mRNA vaccines deliver genetic instructions to our immune system, a blueprint to build a defense system. Genetically engineered mRNA instructs our body cells to produce specific proteins needed to combat a particular virus, like the one responsible for the COVID-19. This breakthrough allowed for the rapid development and distribution of COVID-19 mRNA vaccines, becoming a cornerstone of our pandemic response. But what did these Nobel laureates do to advance this technology? Carrico and Weissman recognized a significant hurdle. The body's immune system identified genetically engineered mRNA as foreign, triggering an inflammatory response. They hypothesized that differences in RNA between the lab-made and mammalian cells might be the key. To test this, they introduced a special chemical changes to RNA. Their experiments in 2005, followed by subsequent work in 2008 and 2010, showed that these changes significantly reduced the body's immune response. This groundbreaking research set the stage for mRNA vaccines. Pfizer and Moderna's COVID-19 vaccines are shining examples of this technology.